Good evening everybody, welcome back to the channel. So, it's time for the final episode of Father Ted. Mmm, mmm, I'd be lying if I said I wasn't gutted. It's been a fantastic series, absolutely hilarious. I've loved pretty much all, well, all the characters, the main characters. Mrs. Doyle is fantastic. Father Jack, just hilarious. Dougal, my favourite by far. And Father Ted himself, you know. Brilliant. They're all brilliant characters. All the side characters, you know, Dick Byrne, uh, the, um, the, the psychotic guy who has the t-shirt that says, I shot JR. They're all great. It's a great show. I've loved it. There hasn't been an episode that I didn't like. I'm going to miss this show a lot. But, obviously, yeah, it had quite a tragic end. So, I guess there's nothing you can do about it. So, this is the final episode called Going to America. Um, I guess, yeah, I'll just get into it. So, uh, shall we? Great being a priest. Oh, you know, Father Ted Recover, and this is Father Brian Eno. Ted, have you got a moment? One second. He's got a job. Kevin, Kevin, what's going on for goodness sake? I can't go on. Don't be silly now, Kevin. Oh, it's pointless. Well, what did I become a priest for anyway? What an utterly useless waste of time. I'd, I'd been a more use sweeping roads. Would you listen to me? It's fabulous being a priest. Think of all the comfort you bring to the sick and dying. They love it. They can't get enough of it. They can't get enough of it. Your friends. Well, Father Alan here, for instance. I've never met him before. <laughs> all right. Um, anyone know him? No, no. no. Oh. <laughs> all right. I I'm your friend, Kevin. Really? Oh, you better believe it. Really? <laughs> now stop all that nonsense and come on. Okay, I'm coming in. It's gonna slip or something, isn't it? Oh, well, 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 oh they've well, got well, it! Oh. Well, 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 well. That's silver haired priest, what's his name? Why, that's Father Ted Krilly. Krilly, huh? Eh? Thank you. And who are you? <laughs> Sorry, I went over there. What'd you say? <laughs> so, uh, who, who are you? My name's Cagney, Buzz Cagney, and I think I might Buzz. have a proposition for this Father Buzz Ted. Buzz Cagney. Yes. I'm sorry, Father. I, I, I don't know what came over me. I, 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 I get a bit depressed sometimes. Don't mention it. I hate to bring this up now, but um, that 20 quid you owe me. Do, really? Do you remember? If now. you have it. <laughs> And Harrison Ford jumps off the plane, and as he's falling, he fires back up the plane. Wow, that sounds great. Uh, I'll go again this weekend if you want to see it. Brilliant. Oh, Mrs. Doyle, um, when you go home, Father Kevin will be there. He's staying until this depression or whatever it is lifts, so... Uh... All right. So don't depress him. Yes, stay away from war and death and that whole mirror pension fund area. All right. I stick to things like puppies and cushions. Puppies and cushions. Puppies and cushions. What? I'm in a cushions. better mood already. <laughs> Father, that sermon today, frankly, it bored the arse out. <laughs> well, Eugene, I'm not here to entertain you. If you want that type of thing, go and see Jean-Michel Jarre or someone. What the hell was it about, anyway? <laughs> well, it was... Ah, uh... oh, jeez. 
Oh, jeez. <laughs> the sermon about today, too. Do you remember? Sorry, Ted. I was concentrating too hard on looking holy. <laughs> oh, well, to be honest, I couldn't give a toss. <laughs> this is much more fun than killing yourself, isn't it, Kevin? That's the thing, isn't it? That's a long-running gag that Father Ted, he's, he bores everybody to death. I suppose. Oh, come on, Kevin, cheer up. That's me and Dougal's job now. We're in the Smile Brigade. Not the Fire Brigade, the Smile Brigade. <laughs> We're going to keep you happy and cheery until you can go to the bank. <laughs> go to the bank? Go home. I, I meant go home. I I'll have that bunny for your first thing on Monday. Seriously, it's just a slip of the tongue. <laughs> really? Please, I don't even remember how much it was. It was a tenner. Twenty! Ah, oh, you see? <laughs> twenty. <laughs> I'm sorry, but let's nip that in the bud now. It was twenty. I'm sorry, but it was. It was twenty. Anyway, that's not the point. The point is you're going to stay here until you cheer up. Things are going to happen for you now. And then go to the bank. Oh, nice move, Kev. Actually, Kevin... Go, uh, oh. go down. <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> What's wrong with you? <laughs> Dougal doesn't have any idea about the uh, depression and all that. He's just a free spirit. <laughs> happy as Larry. <laughs> Harry is a happy as a dog with two dicks. Oh, I'm gonna miss Dougal so much. I, I can't tell you. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with you? There's nothing wrong, Dougal. Are you all right, Kevin? <laughs> yeah, I am. I'm all right. <laughs> Your go again. Oh, good five. <laughs> Another snake. <laughs> <laughs> Your go, Dougal. Hooray! Hooray! If he keeps landing on snakes, then I'm going to win for sure. <laughs> oh, do you know, I miss playing... I remember playing board games as a kid with my grandma. We used to play Ludo and Snakes and Ladders. Oh, yeah. Did any kids play board games like Snakes and Ladders or Ludo anymore? At all? Or Monopoly? That was my favourite. Me and my grandma, we basically just made our own rules up for Monopoly and poker. We had like our own versions of poker and Monopoly. We just made up our own rules, decided the rules. But we would literally kill hours doing it and it was just so much fun. I used to love it. Remember when I used to bring my mate around for a sleepover? We'd, you know, he'd play with it. Oh, oh I miss those days so much. <laughs> If he keeps landing on snakes, then I'm going to win for sure. <laughs> Very near a snake there, Kevin. Is. As long as you don't get a one. Oh, God. He's going to get a one, isn't he? Uh, you're all right, Kevin. It's a, it, it's a six. No, it isn't, Ted. It's a one. <laughs> I don't think it is, Dougal. It is, Ted. It's a one. Look. Oh, He's Dougal. going to snake town. He's going to Snake Town! Oh, 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 come on, Kevin! Oh, wait, no, it is a six. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Fucking idiot. Wait, no, it is a six. <laughs> Kevin! Tell you what, we leave it at 15 quid. <laughs> Still going on about it. A visitor, Father. Oh. Father Crilly, hello. Hello. My name is Father Buzz Cagney. I was at the conference the other day. I was hoping we could have a chat. <laughs> I think you might be interested in a little proposition. And uh, then I was in Utah. Not a good Catholic market. Mormon country. Out there, a guy can have five, ten wives. <laughs> That's a lot of action. <laughs> action? Yeah. And hard to compete with that. And then I was in Reno. Reno? I believe that's very like Wicklow. I did a mass in Wicklow. <laughs> Reno! I believe that's very like Wicklow. 
<laughs> no, it's not. And then I was in Reno. Reno? I believe that's very like Wicklow. I did a mass in Wicklow once. <laughs> very rough crowd, very restless. You have to do a good sermon or they'll hop all over you. Hop anyway, all over where you. Where are you now? I'm in Beverly Hills. Beverly Hills? <laughs> Beverly Hills? <laughs> what happened to his voice? No. I'm in Beverly Hills. Bubbly Halls. <laughs> Bubbly Halls. <laughs> Bubbly Halls. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, good God, you're... Bubbly Halls. Anyhow, where are you now? I don't care. I'm in Beverly Hills. Bubbly Halls. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, good God, you're... you really landed on your feet there. <laughs> Tell me, is it really as false and artificial as everyone says it is? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'd love that. <laughs> oh, well. You do get to meet quite a lot of celebrities, though. Yeah? Like who? Kevin Spacey. He's a nice guy. Don't know him. What about Val Kilmer? I believe he's a complete bastard. <laughs> <laughs> Kevin Spacey. Don't know him. What about Val Kilmer? I hear he's a complete bastard. <laughs> you do get to meet quite a lot of celebrities, though. Kilmer, I believe he's a complete bastard. I believe he's a complete bastard. <laughs> Did you uh, ever think of going out there yourself? Well, I um, I usually go on holidays with my curate, Father McGuire. You can't really take the sun too well. <laughs> Who are you? That's the best one. What are you talking about? <laughs> this is uh, Father Buzz Cagney. Has he only just realised that he's here? <laughs> Sorry, but. On a t shirt. <laughs> Do you know there's so many parts of this show that I'd like on a t shirt? So many quotes from Dougal. Oh. And that picture. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> what are you talking about? <laughs> this is uh, Father Buzz Cagney. He's just on a short visit. He's from America. America. In fact, put that picture on a t shirt and then uh, below or above it, wherever you put funny quotes on pictures. What he just said to the depressed guy. What's the matter with you? <laughs> We're just talking about that fella, uh, Kurt Cobain. He was from America. Imagine blowing your head off with a shotgun. <laughs> God, how did he manage to survive that? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Where's he got that from? Uh, uh, Kurt Cobain. He was from America. <laughs> Imagine blowing your head off with a shotgun. <laughs> God, how did he manage to survive that? Uh, he, he didn't. He died. Yeah. All right. All right. <laughs> anyway, you go up to bed. I'll be up in a minute. All right. Good night, lads. You'll be up in a minute? Yes, we sleep together. Anyway, who else do you want? Hello, everyone. Father, are you looking forward to your lunch tomorrow? Yes, I suppose so. I think you'll enjoy it. You do like pheasant, don't you? Pheasant? God, I love pheasant. <laughs> well, that's a little clue. The thing you'll be eating likes pheasant as well. <laughs> are you, um, Mrs Doyle, you're not going to cut his nails now, are you? I have to, Father. He's been worrying the armrests again. Oh! <laughs> Jesus! Oh, all right. Oh. <laughs> Buzz, just slip this on. <laughs> <laughs> They're like bullets. Pium, pium, pium. <laughs> anyway, you were saying. Uh, yeah, I was curious. Uh, how much money did this parish bring in last year? How much money? God, I don't know. <laughs> Another bloody window gone. <laughs> I suppose we take in about £150. Maybe £200. <laughs> Mrs. Doyle, aim into the wall, please. £200, huh? What's that? Uh, not even $400. <laughs> you know what I do with $400? I wipe my ass with $400. <laughs> Good God. <laughs> Good God. And can that still be used as legal tender? 
Hi, Parish. St. John's made two million dollars last year. That's a lot of sherry and steak dinners. <laughs> Mrs. Doyle, seriously now, do it later. Oh, all right, yeah. Father. This is the uh, St. John's brochure. It's a little out of date. We've had another swimming pool built <laughs> since then, and uh, these ladies serving drinks would be in their 20s now. <laughs> wow. Cool. <laughs> cool. Ted, the other day, I saw how you dealt with that suicide guy. I have to say, I liked what I saw. How'd you like to work with me in L.A., in a satellite parish to St. John's? You mean... Hey, that's on. Believable. Believable. God, that's fantastic. Do you really think you could swing it? It's a good parish, Ted. If you work hard, the rewards are there. Yeah. Spiritual rewards. Oh, real rewards. Really? Really? <laughs> hey, it's a land of opportunity, Ted. You want something, you can get it. I want it! <laughs> Calm down. Crazy to think that not long after this, Dermot Morgan, you know, he was just gone. It's awful. Really? It's official. Yes, yes, great news. Thank you, Buzz. Thank you. Yes! <laughs> One step at a time. We've got to get them all together. Uh, Father Jack, Dougal, Mrs. Doyle. I'm going to America. Yes! <laughs> Ted, can I talk to you for a minute? Sure. I, uh... I, I... I... I just want to thank you for talking me off the ledge the other day. It was very good of you. I can't pretend that I'm any happier, I'm afraid. The world still seems a dark, unpleasant place. Yes! <laughs> I have to get all my stuff brought over, but that won't be a problem. Ah, Kevin, hello. What can I do for you? Uh, well, it's just, you know, I, I feel as if I should tell someone where my thoughts have been leading me these past few weeks. Down some very dark and disturbing alleys. You definitely should, yeah. If you're in, I mean, I'm not saying in the context of the TV show. I mean, seriously, in real life. If that's how you're feeling, then you definitely should. Thing been leading me. It's just, you know, I feel as if I should tell someone where my thoughts have been leading me these past few weeks, down some very dark and disturbing alleys. I think I'm experiencing what you might know as the dark night of the soul. Hold on a second, Kevin. Do you mind if I put on some music? Yeah. <laughs> no. Uh, I, I've, I've begun to be plagued by doubts. Doubts about... Oh, God. I mean, what, what if none of it's true? <laughs> oh, who's the black private dick? It's a sex machine with large chips. Shaft! Shaft. <laughs> Sorry, Father. This is such a good song! I just keep thinking about all the awful things that happen to people. War, famine, that whole mirror pension fund thing. <laughs> it just makes me despair. Shaft! Shaft! I love this bit. I, I do like this song, actually. Ah, oh, it's, uh, it's terrific. Mrs. Doyle got in the car boot save.
You were saying, Kevin? Oh, it doesn't matter. I'd better be going home anyway. Doesn't matter Thanks, now. Ted. Listen, do you want that 20? Yeah, actually, keep it. Really? All right, thanks, Ted. No problem. <laughs> yeah. Yes! Dougal, great news. I've been asked to go and work in America. Really? As what? <laughs> As what? As a priest. President. A priest? Great. That's more or less the same as what you do here. Yes. Oh, I'm gonna miss him. <laughs> great. That's more or less the same as what you do here. His face yes. when he says God. it. God, America. Fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. When it means going? it. When are we? What? I am going, aren't I? You wouldn't... You wouldn't leave me behind, would you? Oh. <laughs> A dog is for life, not just for three series. <laughs> Mrs Doyle, wait till you hear this. Ted's been offered a job in America and we're all going with him. <laughs> I mean, obviously, that's not how he looks like in real life. But yeah, he's a presentable old, old fella. of the light has gone and it's going grey again. We escape. We escape. <laughs> 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 <Woo -hoo! laughs> you guys, what a great mass. <laughs> Well, what'd you think, Buzz? Yeah, seeing you out there today, Ted. <laughs> Let me put it this way. I haven't been this excited about religion in 30 years. You really know how to work the rum. Well, you inspired me, Buzz. It was one of those masses when everything went right. I don't know what it was. I was just in the zone. I know they're gonna love you in the States, Ted. You put on a show. But remember, it's a competitive market. You'll be up against Billy Graham and those Nation of Islam guys. You gotta get your audience, you gotta grab them. You know where to grab them. Yeah, by the balls. Now, I was gonna say by the shoulders. All oh, right, sorry, yeah. Fantastic. I just feel like going out and doing another mass right away. Yeah, pace yourself, Ted. I wouldn't do another mass for a week. The way I feel now. I could convert gays. <laughs> the way I feel right now, I could convert gays. 
Calm down, Ted. You going mad with power? Ah, pace yourself. I could convert gays. Gays. <laughs> So you're a priest who is going to America. <laughs> That's specific. Oh, Ted, one week to go. Yes, Dougal. Um, Mrs. Doyle, Dougal, Father Jack, I have to tell you something. I have to be absolutely honest with you. The money was just resting in the account. account. We know all that. <laughs> Not that. No, it's, it's nothing to do with that. It's... Well... The thing is, you won't, you won't be able to come with me. <laughs> <laughs> when I go into space, uh, I'm going to be the first priest in space. <laughs> yes, NASA have selected me to be the first priest in space, so that's the news I thought you'd want to hear. Great, that's all right. Go, oh, Ted. First America, then space. What's next? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Well, as long as we can all go to America with you, that's the important thing. I think if I heard that I couldn't go for any reason, I'd have to say that that would be the single most crushing blow of my life. <laughs> A disappointment like that, I don't see how I could live with it. I might have to take the ultimate step and take me on life. Oh, no. Mrs. Toy, that's a terrible thing to say. But it doesn't matter anyway, because I am going to America. <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. It's so awkward, Very it's funny. Father, today's the day. I arranged for the electricity and phone to be cut off, and I got someone to come around and take away all the furniture and burn it in a big fire. <laughs> Oh, no. Well, come on now, Father. We don't want to miss our plane. Oh, Ted, how could you have let it get to this point where they're making, like, big, you know, big changes on the strength of them thinking that they're going with you? You big fanny. You should have told them. Man up and tell them. Well, come on now, Father. We don't want to miss our plane. God, Ted, I've just seen my passport photo. I look hilarious. Here. God, I've changed a lot. <laughs> look at Father Jack. He's so excited about going to America, he can barely keep still. <laughs> Seriously, Dougal, I have to say something. Oh, I can't wait to hear this. Every time Ted's talked to us over the past few days, it's just been more and more good news. Now you're going to tell us you're Santa or something. No, I, I'm not Santa. In fact, I'm the opposite to Santa. The anti-Santa. <laughs> the anti-Santa! I'm afraid this is going to come as a terrible blow to all of you. But I can't put it... Look on In his fact, face! I'm the opposite to Santa. The anti-Santa. <laughs> the anti-Santa. <laughs> I'm going to miss Dougal, so... I, I'm sorry I keep saying it, but it's true. He's my favourite character. Sorry, guys. There's some that's stuck in my eye. I'll get it out. Well, not in my eye, but right on my eye lid. Right in there. Right there. Oh, bugging me. Scratching me. I'm afraid this is going to come as a terrible blow to all of you. But I can't put it off any longer. <clears throat> what are those guys doing here? Uh, they just came with me from the airport to say goodbye. They don't think they're coming as well, do they? No, I, I told them. I definitely made that very clear to them. Uh, I Why can't they come with him? I told them a million times. Just... I mean, if you've got all this money, surely you can find a place for Ted to stay where there's a bit of extra room for them or find them a place as well? Say your goodbyes and get checked in. Then we can go to the executive lounge, talk about your new parish. <laughs> you know, Ted, all my life I've dreamed about something really special happening to me. And nowadays, I think this is the greatest moment of my life. Me too. Big Brass! <laughs> He's got a new one! Big Brass! 
Kick ass drink. Yes. This is the greatest moment of my life. Me too. Big brass. <laughs> Big brass. <laughs> Dougal, uh, Mrs. Doyle, Father Jack. Well, why don't you wait in, in the cafe and I'll just check us in? Which cafe, Ted? The one that isn't a tourist office over there. Okay. <laughs> He's not just going to walk out and leave him, is he? Flip. They're never going to serve us. <laughs> yep. That's Dougal. So, are you all set? He is. I am. Oh, Ted, come on. Damn. I forgot to pack my swimming trunks. What do you want them for? Well, I don't want to go au naturel at the pool. You see, I have, <clears throat> I have a bit of downy fluff around that hole near the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I, I heard about that. <laughs> you heard no, about that? I meant, what pool? You don't have a pool. No. OK. Uh, you'll have a basketball court. Ah, great. That'll keep me fit anyway. <laughs> One of the ways the parish has tried to cool tensions between the gangs in the past is through sports. <laughs> Stop you there a moment, Buzz. Gangs. Did you use the word gangs there? What does that mean exactly? America. Well, L.A.'s gang problem is yeah. getting slightly better these LA. days. Last year, there were only 5,620 gang-related deaths. <laughs> There's another use of that word gangs they asked you about earlier. Also, I couldn't help noticing that it was followed closely by the word deaths. <laughs> Yes. Also, I couldn't help but notice it was followed closely by the word deaths. Also, I couldn't help noticing that it was followed closely by the word deaths. Yes. <laughs> the good news is that drive-by shootings are down. Right, there I note the word shootings. Buzz, yes. I quit. Ah! I didn't know I was going to America to umpire drive-by shooting tournaments. Stop the plane! I did. It hasn't started yet, Ted. Oh. Don't start the plane. I, I'm getting off. Stop the plane. Hasn't started yet, Ted. Don't start the plane. I'm getting off. <laughs> so why is it called going? How's it going to end? Ted, is that you? <laughs> yes, it's me. No. Listen, Dougal. The look alike. I've been thinking about things, and I think it would be better if I didn't go to America. You burn all the furniture. I think we'd all be happiest where we belong, on Craggy Island. Fair enough, Ted. I didn't really want to go anywhere. <laughs> oh, Father, you're back. What's going on? Ted decided it would be better if we didn't go to America. Really? He's probably right. <laughs> Come on, Father, we'll go home and... Fake! Fake! Come on, Father, we'll go home and get you a drink. Drink! Drink! But I thought you really wanted to go. Yes, I thought I'd be a bit more disappointed. But now that you've told us, I realise that I didn't want to go anyway. Besides, I don't think I can go. I haven't told my sister about it. Come on, Ted, let's go. Oh, yeah, Ted, you're here to stay with me and Mrs. Doyle and Father Jack forever and ever 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 Go on, go on! Yeah. <laughs> oh, the rabbits! My lovely horse! <laughs> Are those my feet? <laughs> Yeah, you fucking are. Have a shower. <laughs> Done with this sort of thing. Done with this You're sort of thing. 
Careful now. <laughs> oh, I am. The fairground in the first Night episode. Night dead. Night dead. Oh, is that it? Wow, just like that. It's all over. Oh. <laughs> I thought that was going to be really emotional, but it was actually really quickly done, you know. Like, just a few seconds of the best moments. Wow. That's officially it. The end of Father Ted. Well, what can I say? It has been so much fun. It really has. Just... I... I you know, throughout my life, I've, I'd heard of Father Ted. Men, I heard, I'd heard it mentioned here and there. Whenever you watch a documentary about comedy in general, or if it's talking about a really famous comedy like Holy Fools or something like that, we'll talk about other comedies when doing like a comparison. And Father Ted you'll, will have been mentioned in those conversations as well. Um, so I'd heard of it here and there. I knew it. I knew that there was a co a sitcom called Father Ted that existed. I never thought about what it what it was gonna what it was about or what it was like, you know. But now it's over. I've watched it. I've watched every episode. And it is really good. It is so funny. Oh, I mean... It's crazy to me how... How much... Just the sheer amount of comedy and laughs they got out of me and I'm sure millions of others just by having some guy sit there in a chair with that makeup on that makes him look like it does. And literally 98% of the time he's in this show, he says one of four words. That's all he does. And it's hilarious every time. You know, you, you, there's something to be said about that. I mean, if if, if they did that in... Any other show, it wouldn't work. I was going to think of a show where they could do that. I don't know. Like in, all right, let's use an example. Like in the Big Bang Theory, you know, Raj, when he starts, when he discovers drinking and he starts getting into it and liking it, because it's the only way he can talk around women. If they'd have had him, you know, suddenly saying, shouting out loud, drink, drink, it wouldn't be funny. But when they do it in this, it is. Mrs. Doyle, great character, just, <laughs> you know, every time she fell off the ledge, you know, and that time she fell off the roof, and then she, you know, she did a back in through it, and Father Ted tries to help her. <laughs> but what is she doing? She still has to serve tea, and she's just kicking a tea tray in with her foot. Tea, everyone! <laughs> Mrs. Doyle, honestly, one of the best characters I've ever seen in my life. She's absolutely hilarious. <laughs> when that, you know, when Father Jack got got sent to the old, old... Whatever, were it. it wasn't an old force. It was for old priests that had gone mad, wasn't it? So it was like a nut house for priests. And they got that other guy in. And he had his music playing loud. <laughs> so she goes to ask him if he wants a cup of tea. <laughs> with cards. You know, with black cards. And when he says no, she's got about seven or eight cards with go on written on them. Just so she can go, go on, go on, go on. <laughs> Oh my god. It's so funny. Oh, 
Oh, God. I've absolutely loved this. Honestly, I have absolutely loved this. It has been hysterical. Dougal's just... There isn't a single line he's had in this show that was out of place, out of time, didn't fit the situation where that, that was happening when he said it. You know, he always says the wrong thing at the wrong time. When Father Ted's trying to be incognito about something, Dougal will just say something that completely gives the game away. Like when they were at the table playing snakes and ladders. <laughs> What's the matter with you? <laughs> His facial expressions as well, they're fantastic. He is he, he's so so childlike. Oh, he's he's brilliant. And Father Ted, you know, <laughs> that money was just resting in my account. <laughs> That's his running gag, isn't it? He's got a bit of a questionable financial history. <laughs> it's fantastic. Yeah, you, see, you bet you've basically got four main characters in this. They're all fantastic. I'm going to miss this so much. Honestly, I can't tell you. I'm going to miss it like mad. But there's still the documentary to go, right? So that's with the actor who plays Dougal and Father Jack, and they go back to where the house is. Because that actually exists, obviously. They go back... You know, it's not like a... It was like a short clip of it in an advert. I can't remember if it was on telly or on YouTube. I just saw them both sat in a car driving up a gravel road towards the house. That's all I saw. Don't worry. I didn't see any, anything else. But yeah, they were just sat and pointing at you and smiling and such. I'm looking forward to seeing that. It should be good. Um, <clears throat> The actor who plays Dougal. I've asked this before in the past. I can't remember what happened though. So I'm going to ask again, has he done any other comedy where he plays a character even vaguely similar to Dougal? Because I need more of that. Do you know what I'd love? I haven't watched it in years. I haven't even watched a Christmas special in years. But if somehow Brendan O'Carroll was to write a part for him in Mrs. Brown's Boys, in one of the new episodes, for him to be in the show as Dougal. I mean, they could bring him in with um, Father Damien. Bring him in as like a new priest who's moved into the area. And the comedy could just com be completely based off him being a complete moron. It would be brilliant, I'm sure. They have to do that. Oh, they have to do that. It would be so funny. <clears throat> yeah. Mrs. Doyle, I've seen her in other things. I th I'm pretty sure she was in EastEnders. Not so long ago. I might be wrong, though. Actually. Pauline McLean. Yeah, yeah, she was. She was in EastEnders as Yvonne Cotton. Yeah. I knew I'd seen her in EastEnders. It might not might not have been recent recent, but I knew she'd been in it. <clears throat> and I saw her in something else as well. What was it? Yep, I saw her in Johnny English as the uh, woman taking a driving test. Johnny English blindfolds her. 
Oh no, he takes the glasses off her so she can't see. Just tells her to put her foot down. Oh, oh no, is she, is she doing the wheel? It's one or the other. Yeah, she, she's brilliant. Absolutely hilarious. Anyway, so that that's that's officially the end of Father Ted. Another great sitcom. Over. Ended. So that makes more room. The Young Ones, there's only one episode left of The Young Ones as well. So that's going to be done as well, pretty soon. In terms of replacements, so far, doing quite well. We've had It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. The Thin Blue Line, got Ben Adorn back. Brooklyn Nine-Nine. <clears throat> also, I'm going to be starting a brand new drama series very soon. Um, but yeah, that's that's it. Ah, the Ted is done. So, um, nothing else left to say, really, except thanks to everybody who's watched all the episodes. Um, any of any of you that joined the Patreon to get these episodes early and in their uh, best version, thank you to you. Although I'm not sure if anybody has joined the Patreon for it. I wish people would tell me what it is they're joining for, because I, I don't know. If I knew what people were joining for, then I'd know, you know. It'd make it easier to facilitate it better for them. But, yeah, if any of you did join the Patreon for this, thank you. Please don't leave now that it's over. <laughs> Please stick around. <laughs> Trust me, it's going to be worth it. There's going to be a lot of good stuff coming over the next four or five months. Trust me. 2024, even though it's more than halfway through, it's really only just begun. Because we started this year with pretty much stuff we had going... From last year. But. The second half of this year. Oh yes. Stick around. That's all I'm saying. Um, Everybody who watched it on YouTube. Thank you. And. Um, yeah. Let me know about. Is it Ardell or Hanlon? Yeah, Ardell or Hanlon. Any comedies he's been in ways it doesn't have to be like Dougal, so I'll name any, but My Hero. Oh that's a sick oh I've heard that mentioned in Little Britain, it's Andy Pipkin's one of his favourite episodes. He was Thomas Brannigan in Doctor Who. That fucking cat with the... Wow. I didn't know that. <laughs> he was probably my favourite character in that episode. I guess it was always meant to be. So, yeah, that's it. I'm, I'm just... Uh... You know, prolonging it now. <laughs> I always do this when it's the last episode of a show. I don't want it to be over. <laughs> anyway, that's it. So, thanks everybody for watching. Please like and subscribe if you're watching on YouTube. Every episode of this series will be available on the Patreon now in its box set. Easy to access. Every episode is in exactly the right order. Oh, no. No, it's not. But it doesn't matter. It's only, what, 6, 12, 18 episodes. It's not. But they're all there. Without... Anything on the screen ruining it. <clears throat> um, I'll do the documentary soon as well. Looking forward to seeing that. Thanks everybody for watching. Thanks to... Um, I can't remember what got this started actually. Did I just decide to do it or was it suggested? Did it win a poll? I can't remember. But if anybody encouraged me to start this, then thanks for doing that. You definitely did the right thing by making me, by, uh, you know, 
encouraging me to do this. It was worth it. I needed to see this. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. So thanks everybody for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Good night. Drink!